mention it all. Mention it all. Goodbye, Kyle. Who's calling who a frog? Love you, baby. Bye. Hello, everybody, true. Welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Beverly Hills. So guys, <sighs> guys, let's talk about OC. <sighs> you know what? Let's just do the intro. Before we get into this mess, don't forget to like this video. I oh, know. Yeah, what, what I usually say? Girl, I'm completely blanking out. This is so bad that I'm just blanking out, okay? Before we get into it, do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Do it right now if you are new here and you want to join the Beverly Troop. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Hit the notification bell, guys. Let's talk about this mess. Look, I told you many, many time ago that I didn't want to talk about Kelly Dot anymore, okay? That this girl, this mess of a woman, this you know, ways of error. I just got it. You know, I was like, I'm not going to talk about her anymore because it's just too much. And then she kind of like disappeared for a while. So we were like, yes, we're done. We're done. You are fired. You are not part of the Bravo family anymore. Move on with your life. But then they did some bullshit like they did on Halloween. And I'm like, I just need to talk about this. I just need to talk about this because what is wrong with this girl? No, not even this girl. What is wrong with this fucking couple? Okay, because this is involving Kelly Dodd and Rick Leventhal, her husband. These two are meant for each other. These are the most disgusting couple of people that I have ever seen. And I do not understand this. Okay, I'm get, I get, I'm sorry. I get that you, um think differently okay i get i will get you no, i'm not talking about kelly like i'm talking about people you know i get that maybe you have different opinions you know i will understand if you are a republican i will understand if you think about certain things different than other okay but when you go out of your way to be a fucking asshole okay and to be tone deaf and to like mess with other people's lives just for fun i'm like what is wrong with you okay who raised you to be this fucking asshole okay because i don't understand i don't get it so <sighs> kelly dot and uh this guy um rick leventhal decided to, you know, have a costume party or go to a costume party or whatever. You already know that they don't give a shit, so you're probably going to think, oh, they're just going to be like, you know, he's going to be a Mexican and she's going to be, you know, a black face, African-American queen or some bullshit like that. You know what I mean? Like, they don't give a shit, so it's like whatever. They go on and they go as this. And they say on their post, Kelly celebrated her Native American heritage and I celebrate the great American film actor Alec Baldwin. First of all, I can't. It's just like, how do you explain something like this? First of all, this girl, she is not Native American, okay? This is, this is like when she said that she was black or that she was Latina. You know, she's always saying, I'm Mexican, I'm black, I'm African American, I'm, you know, alien, you know, I'm from Venus. Like, bitch, like, shut the fuck up. This is 2021. We already know that this is not good, that that's not an acceptable costume anymore, okay? And especially when you are doing it for the wrong reasons, okay? I will get, and I will tell you this to, you know, you guys who are mostly Americans, that sometimes, yes, there are some things to our costume that politically correct, Ness have taken that sometimes I, me and like even people from other countries have been saying like, 
that doesn't offend us okay like when people dress uh like on, on on kimonos like trying to be japanese or on certain outfits you know um you go to their countries and they actually say yeah that doesn't offend us like they uh, we actually like that because we like that you are interesting in our culture you know so yeah sometimes that can be a little bit extreme but in this case you are trying to celebrate being a native american which you are not by the way okay like you were not born a native american and you are also handing handling a gun to your face to your head you know after you know that native american people have been or were persecuted, you know, and basically left without nothing. It, it's just so bad at so many levels. And then, don't let me get started on this guy who goes on as Alec Baldwin on his last movie where he accidentally shot and killed one person and hurt another one. Are you like... This is not even dumb. Are you a fucking moron? Are you an idiot? Like, this guy was supposed to be on Fox News. Like, does the people of Fox News aren't supposed to be some kind of smart? This is the most tone deaf post or even costume that I have ever seen in my life. And the fact that him himself is saying, this is my costume. He, he was not a cowboy, no. He was Alec Baldwin on his last movie when he killed, accidentally killed a girl, another human being. And that's your custom. Girl, I can't. I can't, I can't. Like, how, how, how you defend any of this? Okay, like I'm telling you. I'm the most open-minded person, you know, I am Latino, I have traveled around the world, I know cultures, I know people, I, I, I understand that sometimes Americans can be a little bit too, you know, um, um, you know, exaggerate, like, they, like too sensitive, you know, but this is just another level of bullshitness, okay, this is just... I don't get it and the fact that I, I wanted to do this video is to see what you guys think about that okay what do you think about these two doing doing this I feel that at this point of course they're attention horse of course they're doing this because they just want to people be talking about them okay and look we're doing it like it's working should we just stop talking about them? Should we just treat them with complete silence? Should we just like unfollow them on every social media and like forget about them completely? But I think it will need like a mass thing to happen, okay? People to stop listening to their bullshit uh, podcast or like, you know, because it's like, damn. But also, I'm thinking they need to be called out for this kind of shit. You know, like, I can't. <sighs> I just feel for the, the Jolie, you know, the girl. I'm hoping that she will never be like her mom. Because I can't. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And like always, don't forget to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and... I'll see you around. See ya. Bye.